to another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne LaFlam. And I'm Chris Costa. So Chris, what do you want to talk about today? Well, I thought maybe we'd cover change orders. Sure. Um, that's a good thing to talk about. A change order is a way for you to uh, make a change on a job without actually changing the job, mm -hmm. but adding a change order, which then um, you can print out or um, it'll be displayed on the job ticket and it will add cost to the job mm -hmm. as well. Right. So let's take a look at adding one. Okay, okay? sure. So you would do that by going to Estimating Order Entry. So I'm going to click on Estimating Order Entry. And I have a job here for a business card order. To get to the change orders, you would go to the job planning screen and select change orders. From here, you can add as many change orders as you like. So I'm going to click on the Add button to add a change order. And at the top of the screen, you have a variety of types. So you can pick from your process list by uh, selecting the type of process, whether it be pre-press, plate, press, and so on. Or you can just do a miscellaneous charge. So in this case, say I want to add a change order. Maybe um, the customer has changed the design of this business card, so we have to do uh, a redesign. So I'm going to select pre-press. And then I can come over here and click on the item list button and pick from my processes and standards. So say I want to add uh, an art and design process. I can select that, and it's going to automatically bring in the cost and unit description from my process. And I can further explain what I want done by entering plant comments, which would then be just directions to my plant. So I might say here, please um, see attached file for changes to design by customer. I could also have comments that maybe I want the customer only to see. So here I'm going to put um, customer oops, changed design. Okay, and by doing that, now I have those two comments, I can actually print two different reports, one for an internal report and one for the customer to see, which mm -hmm. will include the associated comments. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Okay. So I'm going to click OK to save this particular change order. And it's going to ask me if I want to enter another one. I'm going to say no. And now I can click on print. And in the change order version, I can select the internal version or the client version. If I select the internal version, you'll see when the report prints that it will show the comments that my plant needs to see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. If I select the client version, you're going to see the comments that the client needs to see. Right. Now in that case, you'll, you'll notice that the cost was zero. Um, you don't have to add a cost. In this case, my particular art and design is set up as a cost per unit. So if I want to charge one unit here, you'll see that it, it uh, this time it added a price. If I go back and print it, you'll notice on the internal version, there is no price. The, the shop doesn't need to know the cost, but on the client version, it'll add a cost now to the original cost of the job. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, so now that um, change order can be attached to the job ticket if mm -hmm. you'd like to send that out to your plant. Okay. okay. Are there other areas in the program besides just estimating order entry that I can see? Absolutely. The change order? Let's take a look at that. You can just reprint the job ticket. And you will see, by printing the combined job ticket, you'll see the change orders will show up here on the job ticket. It'll show up here in the section or the area um, that the change order affects. And when you go to the last page, you'll see the change orders here as well. So if there are multiple change orders, they'll be listed here. Okay. And that's a good um, point for using electronic tickets rather than a printed ticket because mm -hmm. Wherever that job ticket's printed, whether it be from data collections or scheduling, it's going to print with those changes, and those changes are in that red color, so it's easy sure. to see. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Now, there's another area that would be important to see the change orders, and that would be in data collections, because those are the, the individuals that are going to need to do the work. So when you go into data collections, and um, let me select a clock out of this job. And I'll clock, clock in again for the day. I'll select my job. And you'll notice there's a changes button over here in red. 
So it's pretty bright. You can easily see that there's been a change to the job. You can click on it and see the change order here, as well as print the job ticket from this screen and see the changes in the job ticket. Mm -hmm. So it makes it pretty obvious for your data collections person to see. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay. Um, now how would the change order appear on the invoice? How's that going to flow to, you know, if I have AR or even invoicing, how would it show up on the invoice? Sure, that's a good question. Um, mm -hmm. You will see it as, a, as a separate line item on the invoice. So the original job will show the full amount and then mm -hmm. you'll see a separate line item on the invoice. So okay. let's take a look at that. Yep, okay. So I'm going to go into AR, go to my job closeout, select my job, And you'll see you have a separate line item that shows just the amount of the change order and then this first line item being the amount of the, the job. Hmm. Okay. okay. All right. Perfect. Um, now that was a change basically to a process. What if I have, I want to change the paper, for example, Okay. Um, in the job? Actually, we do have a new feature in mm -hmm. change orders in the latest bill, 12.4, which uh, we have a, an edit component button within okay. the change order, which actually brings you back to the job and lets you make a change in the job itself. Mm -hmm. For example, like changing the paper. Yep. Then what happens is the change order just becomes the difference in the amount from the original price to what the price is now once you've changed it. So say if you change paper and it results in a $50 difference in the price. Mm -hmm. What Enterprise will do is it'll take the original price of the order, set that as a manual price, and then create a change order for the change of $50. Okay. okay. So you don't have to know that it's you know, a $50 increase. The system's just going to calculate it for Exactly. You. It's going to calculate it based on the paper that you've chosen in, in your mm -hmm. example, or if you changed, added a process, or whatever you've changed, it's, yep. it's going to calculate that difference automatically. Okay. Perfect. Let's take a quick look at that. All right. So we'll go back into Estimating Order Entry. We'll find our job, go into change orders, add a change order, and we'll do exactly what you said. We'll edit the component, select my paper, click OK, we'll save that change. And you'll notice it changed, that there was a difference of approximately $10 on the paper. Mm -hmm. plus the markup. So when I click OK, it'll ask me if I want to enter another one. I'm going to say no, and there's my change order. Mm -hmm. I can print that out. There's my internal. If I print my external version, which will have the price change, you'll see the price change here. Okay. Okay. And you'll notice if we go back into the job and I edit the component, it set the manual price on the order itself. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's a good watch out then, I guess, when you do edit that component, you do need to make sure you save it. Yes. Because you are yes. making changes to the component. Right. You have if to you, make sure you save the component. Exactly. If you don't make the changes, it's going to see the price is no different, so it's right. going to set it at zero. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. All right. Do you have any other questions? No, I think that was good. Well, thank you. Okay, thank you. And thank you for joining us for another episode of EPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne LaFla. I'm Chris Costin. Please look forward for more to come.